Hi friends, welcome back to Love Medics. This lecture is on female reproductive system, internal reproductive organs. Content of the video, introduction, parts of female reproductive system, ovary, fallopian tube, uterus, cervix and vagina. Reproductive system, that tissues, glands and organs involved in the production of offspring, that is reproductive system. They are within the true pelvis. Female reproductive functions are producing the gametes that is egg and it secretes the X hormones such as estrogen and it provides the site of fertilization and it gestating a fetus if fertilization is occurred and giving a birth to a baby. Parts of female reproductive system. In women's reproductive system include internal genital organ and external genital organ. Internal genital organs are ovaries, fallopian tube, uterus, cervix and vagina and external genital organs. Female reproductive organs are ovary, uterus, fallopian tube, cervix and vagina. First ovary. It is the one pair of female glands in which the eggs are formed and the female hormones like estrogen and progesterone are synthesized from the ovary. The shape of ovaries are almond shape that is oval shape and the size of ovary is 4 into 2 cm long which means 1.5 to 0.75 inch. The location of ovary is lateral wall of pelvis that is Ovarian fossa. The ovaries are surrounded by a thin fibrous capsule that is tunica albuginae. This capsule covered externally by modified peritoneum that is germinal epithelium. The ligament of ovaries are mesovarium, suspensory ligament of ovary and round ligament of ovary. The ovaries are the site of egg production that is oogenesis. At a birth of female baby, approximately 1 million to 2 million eggs are present in the ovary. At the time of puberty, 3 lakhs of egg only remained in the ovary. Of those, only about 500 will ovulate during a woman's reproductive life and the remaining eggs are gradually die out at menopause. When one egg is matured, it releases down into the fallopian tube. Now the fallopian tube. Fallopian tube is a narrow tube that attached to the upper part of the uterus and it serves the tunnel to ova that is egg to travel from ovary to uterus. It is also called as uterine tube and ovarian tube. The fallopian tube extends from uterine cornua to near the ovary and the measurement of fallopian tube is 10 cm length which is 4 inch. Parts of fallopian tube in fundibulum. It has finger like projection that is fimbrium and ampulla isthmus and intramural part. These are the part of fallopian tube. It lies in the upper border of broad ligament and at the abdominal ostium the tube open into peritoneal cavity which is communicated with exterior of body by uterus and vagina. Fallopian tube it conveys the ovum from ovary to uterus. It is essential for the sperm and the egg to meet. It promotes the oxygenation and nutrition for the sperm and the ovum and the fertilization occur in the fallopian tube. The fertilized egg then move to the uterus and where it is implanted in the lining of uterine wall. Now the uterus. Uterus is the hollow periform muscular organ. It is situated in the pelvis between bladder in front and rectum at behind. The normal position of uterus is antiversion and antiflexion. Measurement of uterus 8 cm length and 5 cm width at fundus. Shape of uterus is pear shape and the thickness of wall is about 1.25 cm. Weight of uterus is 50 to 80 gram. Layers of uterus are endometrium, myometrium and perimetrium. Function of uterus it serves as a site for the reception, retention and nutrition of the fertilized ovum and it holds and nourishes the developing fetus. Uterus during pregnancy. Uterus enlargement as a result of increased production of estrogen and progesterone. The enlargement of the uterus is due to hypertrophy of smooth muscle fibers of myometrium and some hyperplasia also present. Hypertrophy means size of cell is increased and hyperplasia means Number of cell is increased, that is hyperplasia. At first month, the uterus remains as a pelvic organ. At third month, the fundus raised out of pelvis and at the ninth month, it reaches the zipoid process. Uterine cavity, it is the triangular shaped cavity and the cervical cavity is also present, that is cervical canal. It connects the cavity of body through internal os and with the vagina through external os. Part of uterus, fundus, body and cervix. These are the part of uterus. Now the cervix. Cervix is the channel. It allows the sperm to enter and menstrual blood to exit. And it is narrower than body of uterus. Measurement of cervix is 2.5 cm length. Cellular connective tissue present lateral to the cervix. That is paramecium. 
A pouch is present posterior aspect of the cervix. It is covered by a peritoneum that is called pouch of Douglas. Mostly the upper part of cervix is involuntary muscle whereas the lower part of cervix is fibrous connective tissue. It has numerous deep glandular follicles. It secretes the alkaline mucus. The epithelium of endocervix is columnar epithelium and upper two-third is made up of ciliated columnar epithelium. Around the external os, stratified squamous epithelium is present. Junction of these two types of epithelium is called squamocolumnar junction, that is transformation zone. Before the birth of first child, the external os is circular. In Paris women, which means she gave the birth to a baby, by normal delivery means the vaginal part of cervix is larger and external os become transverse lip. So it has anterior lip and posterior lip. Vagina. Vagina is the distensible fibromuscular tube that extends from the perineum through the pelvic floor and into the pelvic cavity. It joins the cervix to the outside of the body. It is also called as birth canal. The measurement of vagina is through 12 cm in length which means 3 inch. It extends from the vestibule to the uterus and it is situated behind the bladder and in front of rectum. Anteriorly, bladder base and urethra is present. Urethra is embedded in or it fused with anterior vaginal wall. Upper end of anterior wall is pierced by the cervix and it project down and backward into the vagina and posteriorly the rectum is present. Upper half is located above the pelvic floor and the lower half present within the perineum. Region of vagina with four nases anterior, posterior, right lateral and left lateral. Vaginal orifice in virgin girls has a thin mucosal fold that is hymen. Normally it is perforated at its center. After childbirth, the hymen usually consists only of tags. Thanks for watching.